Hello everybody, Revanoff back at it again with another spicy video for you. Let's talk about cousins. There are some individuals that aren't that close with their extended families, but in my case, there are a few that I've become close to. It's a strange relationship with cousins it is. In certain aspects, they could be as close as a sibling. In some, they're like a close friend. Not necessarily someone you could call a best friend, but not too far to be an acquaintance and still just close enough than most other closest friends. It's a strange standing where they tend to be, yet in a lot of cases, they know Know you a little more intimately than others do. So, you may have already guessed that this is what this piece is relating to. It made me think about my time with my cousins when I was growing up. Surprisingly, I found myself more close to the cousins from my dad's side of the family location-wise, probably because they were closer than the others from my mom's. Well, that and they have more abrasive traits that the rest of my siblings and I had in comparison. We were a rowdy, challenging bunch that liked to pick on each other with the typical dynamic of who Whoever is older gets the holy authority of all cousins. In my case, I became particularly close with two specific ones, one from my dad's side of the family and my mom's side of the family. Funny thing is that they both left to go to Canada at some point. I guess, in a sense, there is a great relativity especially since I grew up outside of the motherland just the same and that there was a relevance in our age group. One, though 10 years apart from myself, shares the same age range as my eldest brother and was there for some part of my childhood so one could regard her as an older sister at this point the other was by an age closer to my younger brother so past the fun of our childhood and all the silly things we did after playing games and visiting each other's homes getting chased and belted together sometimes now that we've grown we understand each other's strifes of the complications inside of our dysfunctional family issues but we also also share respect of our views on certain matters of our lives to which we choose to approach our challenges, then we can kind of laugh about the most ridiculous crap at the same time. It's strange to know that you could never see them for years, but then you kind of greet them like nothing's ever happened when you walk into each other's lives once more. I'm glad to have them when I can as a support system, and you've run out of people to relate to, as things do get tough inside of the family circle sometimes. So for those who have good cousins within your reach, remember to let them know that you're there for them, because sometimes when things are south, you kind of forget those parts of your lives that still exist, and you may sometimes feel alone when they're kind of around the corner unknowingly for you. If you guys got some cousin stories for me, let me know. Anyways, Revanov, out.